120 minutes to keep you up to date in the world of alternative music. Right now, here's Dave with the College Countdown. Thanks, Kevin. And the alternative top 10 has rearranged itself. Thus, two records move up, two slip down. We got four non-movers, and there's two new entries. The first of those is at number 10. It's Big Audio Dynamite with their third album, Tighten Up, Volume 88. Recurring at number 9, the Railway Children, who've been playing together since they were the tender age of 16. New in at 8, Ranking Rogers' radical departure from general public has paid off. It's his first solo success. Wires down a peg at number 7 with A Bell is a Cup. Vocalist Colin Newman also has a solo record out, it seems. Up to the 6, Paul Kelly and the Messengers. Paul is proud to cite ABBA as one of his influences. Unrecognizable cover versions have been a camper van Beethoven trademark in the past, but there aren't any on their new album, Our Beloved Revolutionary Sweetheart, at five. And sitting pretty at this week's number four, Paddy Smith with Dream of Life. Up two to three, the equally legendary Iggy Pop with his eighth album, Instinct. Still at number two, the Sugar Cubes with Life's Too Good. New video from them next week, hopefully. And this week's number one sound comes from Shriekback. It's an album called Go Bang. Shriekback are shooting a video for their cover of the KC and the Sunshine Band song, Get Down Tonight. And word is, KC himself will appear in it. Flip, Dave. They must be wheeling old KC out for that occasion. Hey, right now in 120 minutes, it's this week's number two video. It's the Sugar Cubes with Birthday. This is a journey into sound. sound, sound. Coming up here in 120 minutes, we'll have the Swans with their cover of Love Will Tear Us Apart and a brand new one from Aztec Camera featuring Roddy Frame, nicest man in show business. Right now, it's that quirky camper van Beethoven talking here with Eye of Fatima, part one. Still to come in 120 minutes, a world premiere video from Susie and the Banshees, one of the original punk bands. But right now, hey, one of the original American punk bands. We do it on this side of the puddle, too. Here's X with a video from the 1982 Under the Big Black Sun album. It's called Hungry Wolf.
Well, hey, it's the second 60 of 120 minutes. Your Sunday night patrol of the cultural front line. Still to come, Dave with those wacky record reviews, a major breakup of the new music news, and a major break out of videos from the Bible. Marty Wilson Piper, Paul Kelly, and brand new ones from the Mission UK, and Keith Levine's violent opposition. Right now, a world premiere video from the very great Susie and the Banshees. This is Peek a Boo. <laughs> Just around the corner on 120 Minutes, videos from Marty Wilson Piper and Paul Kelly and the Messengers. First, here's Dave with the record reviews. Thank you, Mr. Seal. And here we go with a few more new releases. And I'm generous enough to offer you my humble but correct opinion about them. It's not your average speed metal band that tackles such concepts as manifest destiny. And thus, the fourth DRI album, Four of a Kind, is a cut above the rest their hardcore edge still shining through the buzz chords and buzz words. But the tastier gift is borne by another old punk band, D. Kreutzen, smother you in sheets of glaciated guitar while juggling bass lines that smell like funk and grope like adolescent fingers. If you skip track two, which sounds like the bloody alarm on a bad day, Century Days is a considerable work. Here's a few other new records of note. Slayer have released their new album, South of Heaven. Poppy Rockers The Rain have come out with their debut LP. It's called Channel. And here's FOP, the debut 12-inch from the Zeppelin-style band Soundgarden. In fact, Soundgarden sounds so much like Zeppelin, they currently have three record deals. Three. Three? Boy, I tell you, they must be carbon copies of the Zep to have three deals. Thanks, Dave. Right now in 120 minutes, here's a video from church guitarist Marty Wilson Piper. It's called, Hey, She's King. Hey, just around the bend on the New Music Marathon, we have videos from Devo and the Primitives. First, though, Erasure, and if you catch them during their current tour, you might just catch singer Andy Bell in a corset, a rubber bathing suit, or a circus ringmaster's blazer. The man's nuts. But in this video, Andy's a little more, well, restrained. He's just hanging from those darn chains of love. 